Dude, 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 check out our armory. We have like blinking sniper rifles and grenades and stuff. And like rocket launchers. Oh man, all this sweet ass equipment. One, two, three, four, five. Only five fucking lockers? Well, someone doesn't get a locker, or two people do on this team, especially. Damn. Oh well, that's it. Well, welcome back to XCOM. And we got an alien crash site. It's a scout UFO, so. I figured this is a good opportunity to level up some people. Um, our only veteran here is Snake Eyes. Uh, you're not Snake Eyes. You're going to be... Uh, I don't know. Goggles. Goggles. I think I said Googles. Fuck Google. Fuck YouTube too. Alright, so we have Googles. We have uh, Dashi AKA as our uh, new rookie. Welcome to the team. Uh, Libby is here. Libby, unfortunately, has not got many levels behind her belt. Um, I'm bringing along a new scout as well with the marksman rifle. You haven't seen this kind of play style from, uh, in this playthrough yet. I want to really make it work. Uh, I can't build marksman rifles for lasers right now, but eventually I'm going to get to that point and I want to decide if I really want to do that. Maybe dedicate someone to that play style just for fun. Maybe not bring a sniper along one time and bring a marksman scout. Because uh, that I don't know, and then you have we would have like a heater on him and shit like that. That would be kind of cool to me. Uh, Cosmo is our one of our new uh, infantry hasn't leveled up. Uh, we have a rocketeer here hasn't leveled up, and then we have our biggie talls here hasn't leveled up. <laughs> and I'm bringing I'm bringing a laser with him just because there's no point in me bringing a shotgun. I have more than enough laser weapons at this point to go around. In fact, I could have given it to our scout for all I fucking care. Um, I still have an extra one. I think I got the 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 one that adds mobility, but whatever. Shit's going pretty well in this playthrough, but it, it's just we're lacking now good soldiers. So we're going to try and get levels since this should be Francis easier. Sending an urgent mission request. It looks like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. The benefit of this is we're actually going to get some nice materials from this, which we are severely lacking, actually. Uh, I have been getting rid of some of them, but it was mostly just to get the workshops and stuff. What the fuck? You're going through him. <laughs> this is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Where's my actual sniper? All right, actual sniper, go here. Uh, is this the other edge of the map? Yeah, we're we're on the very very outskirts of this entire map, so which I like. It's a okay. good thing. Uh, so we're just gonna move everyone over. Uh, and, uh, oh, you're my gunner, so whatever. Just skip the turn. Alright, we're gonna try and get my sniper up there then. Uh, definitely Muton on this map. I can tell by the pixels. Alright, uh, this is our assault, I think? Yeah, no, this is our infantry, actually. Fuck. Where's our assault? Okay, assault is in short sleeves. Alright. So, this guy doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, but he is not supposed to be a mobile guy anyway, so I don't really give a fuck. Uh... Yeah, boy. I'm just gonna bring everyone up here. Yeah, boy. Oh, uh, Gunner should definitely come back here. Uh, Sniper can definitely... come here. That The Sniper does not have... Does she have a... Yeah, she does have Lone Wolf. So, there is that. But I can bring her just over there. Uh, and overwatch that. Now we know they're over there. Alright, well, let's see what we got. Uh, we still have a nice way of going kind of over here. Uh, but we'll let the... we'll let our... our man here kind of move forward a little bit. I'm, I am just slightly worried. Where's our gunner? Gunner should definitely come Good down copy. here. Moving on target. I like the, I like the movement speed, but it's basically I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to position right now, so there is that. Like we're, all we're doing is running around, so. All right, sniper can now go up here. Uh, and marksman, marksman, 
Marksman is like a half sniper, so, but still coming with us. Alright. Oh, we, we smell the meld over there. Uh, we'll, we'll head over here. Alright. Well, we have our UFO, uh, and there's really not much else to say about it. I, I can't actually see meld right now. Which is actually something we really want to get more of, so... Uh, not not judging by the fact that I've been actually giving some away to some of the kind some of the countries that have been asking for it, but I, I I really want to get the workshops. I'm now I, I just reached the scientist cap and all that kind of stuff because that early on like scientists and shit really helped out. All right, uh, we could bring our sniper over here, but I'd rather just steady our aim. Okay, so they're just literally inside the UFO. I really don't like it when it just kind of brings me to the side of the camera here. Oh, so there's some melt over there. Really? I don't see any melt. Fucking crazy. We first saw it this way, now we see it this way. Make up your mind melt. Mind melt. Uh, start quick. Alright. Well, we can definitely see what's over there. Yes, Commander. Guess we'll uh, dash over and over then. No point in me bringing the sniper over. I, you know, I, I think I'm familiar with the mission that went similar to this, where I ran after the bell to the side. Okay, now the meld is there. Make up your fucking mind. Let's see if we can actually see if it's over here. Yeah, we don't actually see it, so we're gonna actually just go straight for the, this thing here. Oh, that was expected. It's this guy. Alright, where's my gunner? Alright, let's just start moving everybody out. It's pretty much how we do all our missions, just like this. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain he can't... Uh, yeah, he would not be able to shoot and uh, flank and shoot it in the same turn. So, we, can, we have all the time in the world to basically just kind of move up here. The Muton I'm, I'm slightly concerned about, though. Well, actually, let's just overwatch this guy, just in case. Because I, I, I'm, I'm, I then kind of had second thoughts about it. So my salt's just going to make sure he doesn't move up. Ah, right, he's going to take a shot. Ah, uh, whatever. What are you looking at? Yeah, I didn't really think about the fact my gunner isn't going to have a shot on that. I am a little bit worried about activating more enemies in here, though. What do we have for grenades? Alright, well, you know, if we're going to activate enemies, let's just do so with uh, right now, so I know. So Fuck, it's mutons. It oh god, there's two the mutons. Would have something specialized towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who has to go up against that thing. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Well, that went less than ideal. Um, who do you have shots on? Muton and the guy in the corner. All right. Where's Rocketeer? We're unfortunately going to have to move this Rocketeer back slightly. I'm hoping over here we'll still get a rocket off. Uh, not really ideal rocket, but it'll have to do because we need to take out that cover there. Wow, really? He didn't even get like hit the guy. It fell short. That's fucking great. All right. Well, uh, that's not good either. Uh, I thought I had a shot on him before. Fucking hell. 
Fucking hell. I, I, this is just not good right now. Okay, the sniper's just gonna have to take a long range shot against. Uh, how much health does he actually have? Uh, uh, well, it's, I have to crit him. Alright. Oh, we can get the muton here. Oh, that was a crit too. I mean, we got these nice ass laser weapons, so let's just use them. Doesn't help it when you miss. Assault really needs to move back. Um, we have some med kits around. They have these. They have like crazy plasma weapons with accuracy. We're in bizarro, uh, uh, bizarro land where accuracy means nothing, or defense means nothing. Well, they're not in good cover, so. All right, we have one here. We have two. Which one is more important to, for us to hit? I think, I think this guy we're gonna have better opportunities later because it's it's literally I get ten percent more, so we're gonna take the ten percent more one. I'm about to start keeping score. Let's see. Can the marksman do something? Uh. Probably can if I move him up here. It's a good spot for him. 34, all right. Where's our rookie? I want you to kind of destroy that guy's cover. You could also run and gun somewhere. It's not enough of a good grenade. We can actually move over here and do it. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the grenade to hopefully destroy his cover. Nope. Covered, not destroyed. Less than ideal. Oh, we got one shot on him. Not a bad shot. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Oh, he got him. Nice. Okay. That's kind of... That's that's better than expected. Uh, there's another Muton back there somewhere, so we don't really want to uh, anger the gods right now. The Muton gods. Uh, and this one we're going to still have to steady our aim. Head over here. Reaction shots. Uh, no point in running and gunning yet. Um, I do like his full cover right now. Moving him anywhere else would be a bad idea, so overwatch. Alright, covering fire. Out, oh, miss. Oh, fuck. You got to cover? Really? Ah, uh, person's dead. Rip that infantry. Oh, it's, you know, it is two mutons here. Thought to at least be good at behind that, that, that wall there, but it just got destroyed. The cover is so deceiving in this game. Alright. Got some panics going on. Uh, yeah, this is not really a time for meld. Alright, Gunner has two shots. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to check my shots right now. Oh, we got a flank on someone. Oh, the Muton. Okay, we'll take the Muton. It's 100%, so. It'll at least cause him to uh, reposition himself. This is a tough one. So, 53 on him. Or a guarantee on him. Oh, wow, abysmal on that guy. 18 now. Oh, because they've got closer to him. That makes sense.
we're gonna probably move back and shoot with him. Or, or whatever. Alright, we got that one. Which means my gunner can... I think I'm gonna suppress him. I'm gonna make this safer. Yeah, we don't have that guy yet. Let's try marksmaning. Nope, miss. I'm debating even going up for this thing, so I'm not going to. Alright, well, the sniper can now just take another free shot against, uh, the, the flanked one, and also get, like, a free crit, too. Let's do that. Sucks for our infantry, though. I think this is pretty much all the rest of them, so let's just, uh, let's open up a shot here. With a rocket. Oh, fuck, I think I destroyed that. Oh, no, I didn't. It, in fact, it totally completely missed, so maybe that was a good thing. Alright, I can totally run a gun behind him, so... I'll try and take a shot with him. Uh, he's pretty much ours, so let's t take a shot with a couple people here. Oh, Marksman gets him. Oh, we're not done. Okay. Oh, floaters, hello. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. All right. Let's have a look here. 100% chance to hit on that one. I'll just, might as well take it. 100 is 100. Running dry. Uh, I kind of want to basically get my gunner to heal someone. Uh, but there's really no good situation for it. Oh, well, that might be a good one. Because I, I have some people that kind of need healing, and I'd rather not have them be shot up. I don't think I moved my marksman over here. And I, it allows me to get a, a flank shot here. I'd say what that laser pistol says, though. Oh, actually, that marksman rifle has a higher chance of hitting, oddly enough. Let's get the flanked one, at least. There we go. I mean, I, I don't know about the advantages of the marksman rifle. I mean, we get, we do get a squad sight with it, you know. So, there is that. Okay, I'm, I am slightly worried about that guy, so let's go heal this uh, Libby over here. Uh, Libby's gonna heal this, sorry, the, our uh, assault. Alright, um... I guess the rest of us will just prepare to move to engage. Prevent him from moving up. In case he decides to, we're gonna just overwatch. Alright, so he's just now overwatching us. Uh, well, is he just gonna be stuck overwatching this whole time? I think he has a shot on us, so... Oh, no targets available. Well, I'll just go reload that, then. Guess we'll just do this. I would like to get that meld, though, so you know what? Maybe we're gonna take some shots after all. The only thing that's preventing me from getting the meld is, uh... Oh, there we go. We got a shot there. Oh, he went over there. Well, they're both behind full cover, so we're okay. And this guy's pretty much as good as dead, so... Assuming someone can run up there and get him. Nice. 
We also have uh, we also have AP grenades. Ah, oh, we can run and gun actually with this with this fella here. Mission accomplished. There we go. Uh, we lost an operative. It was a really new uh, infantry, so you know that was uh, not the biggest loss, but still a loss all the same. Uh, we didn't expect that that cover to just vanish. Because as far as I was concerned, I was exposing her to a shot to just one person, so... Oh well. You live, you learn. That wasn't exactly the best place to engage. Alright, so our good sniper here um, is going to do damn good ground. Because he was kind of capitalizing upon that to begin with, so, you know, there is that. Um, our gunner here is going to basically build, I think, in the same way as all my other gunners have been, which is just for damage. Uh, this Rocketeer, I think I already have a Rocketeer coming out for Overwatch. So I'm gonna just make another safe damage dealing uh, Rocketeer. And of course, Close Combat Specialist, I always get. You know, the, the Steadfast perk may not be as actually bad as it seems because, you know, the panicking really does not help. Um, so... Let's let's have a look. Our next workshop is a little bit out, um, so I think I'm just gonna get the marksman scope now. I, I kind of did like it; it came in handy, uh, the different playstyle. But yeah, as you can see, we cannot get um, the super, the, the the laser that allows us to kind of uh, shoot around them, kind of thing. But we can do we can do beam lasers next, advanced beam lasers. We need more alien computers, though, definitely. Actually, let's see. Let's see if we have stealth, stuff to sell on the green market. Yeah, there you go. Flight computers damaged. Rip. All right, twelve meld for two engineers. No, I really need the meld now. Actually, I forgot to see how much meld I got from there. Okay, this is not so bad. Nine delirium for uh, this much money. Yes, it's, that's kind of nice. All right, we got mag pistols. Hooray. Uh, and we don't want anything else here, I think. It's, a, it's just security stuff, so we're good. Shit, suppression is done. It was cheap enough. And scope upgrade, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? Now that I think about it, uh, let's get another scope. Because I really like those things. One more scope. It's only 68 bucks, so. And we got another excavation done. It'll be the one down here, and it's just, uh, we, we need a lot more engineers on staff. How's our power doing? Our power's actually alright, uh, believe it or not. I think I should also excavate this, just because I'm gonna build, uh, I think the, uh, the alien jail here. Uh, don't really need to excavate anything else, I think, for the time being. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, they want alien alloys? No, because I really need those. View abductions! We're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. This one's light, so this should be a really easy for me to uh, mission for me to just you know upgrade a couple of uh, rookies and and make sure some veterans also get a bit of experience. And I may actually I may decide not to bring along any any rookies anymore. Um, did that last rookie even up? Uh, get, yeah, that last rookie did become something else. I don't know. I, I don't think we're really lacking anything per se right now. Oh yeah, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. Oh he, yeah, she was a bit down the list. So, uh, what do we actually need right now? So we have like a sniper that's fatigued. We got another sniper here, and then I think that's it for snipers. Uh, well, then I have the one, my really good one that's wounded. So, uh, there's that. There's a uh, one scout that's ready. Two more scouts here. And then another scout that's wounded. So this is what I mean. Like I, I think I'm good for snipers and 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 scouts at this point. The gunners, I have like one that's wounded, one that's fatigued, one that's uh, ready to go, but these probably haven't been upgraded at all. So I got a lot of gunners too. Engineers, as I said, I'm not crazy on. I'm still not crazy about it because I would rather have actually another Rocketeer, believe it or not, on the team. But the, you know, the grenades are a little bit more reliable for destroying cover, but I have like three engineers ready to go. Um, we got like a lot of assaults. So it's just, I, I really don't know what to do with this person. What this person needs to be. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess my scouts get lost pretty easily. So, uh, you know, we'll have an extra scout at the ready. I could just random subclass. I could probably just save them and do random subclass later. Uh, well, actually, one second. Let me see. Um, 
We are two days off of uh, another marksman scope. That's okay. We won't bother with that. Uh, so that's it. So remember, we will be watching.